Range Rover Sport, our little baby here. Right, we are gonna do a little video, a little concocted video we've dreamt up, and we are gonna do about locks and key fobs and key fob batteries. We're also gonna show you your mechanical key that's hidden in the key fob. We are gonna show you how to change your door lock barrel. We're gonna show you if you go swimming by mistake and your key fob gets wet and doesn't work, we're gonna show you how you can still get in your car and start your car in an emergency if you get a flat battery or whatever. Right, we haven't really rehearsed this. So what are we gonna do first? Let's do the key fob first. Excuse me while I put my mask on to protect young Tyler and myself here. Right, this is a key fob. There we go, Range Rover Sport key fob. And it has this little bit that slides off here. Now this is the same on an Evoque and many other cars. In fact, a lot of what's in this video is exactly the same on the Evoque, Discovery Sport, Discovery 5, all them. Right, so you've got that little bit that, that clips on there. And I think what happens if you try and put it on the wrong way? No, you're sort of half there, but you won't. So make sure you get it on the right way. There you go, I'll just boop. Right, okay. Right, then what you've got is you've got hidden in here. It's got like a little holder, and it? it's really clever. It's got like this little key blade. But obviously you can't use a key like that. You haven't got enough leverage. So look at this, this is just genius. Look at that, boop, like that. Look. And then you've got a little thing and you can turn it. And that will, it will show you open the door. Right, oh, my glasses are steaming up now, Tyler. <laughs> I'll These get back. masks are a bad idea. Right, anyway, here we go, right. So that is the key. That is the cover that. Right, now we have the key fob. Now what you can do with this, actually they've designed this, this is a beautiful piece of design. You can take the key, you can insert it into this little hole here, and then you can use your little leverage thing and you can just twist it, right, and it sort of splits the key in half. So you sort of peel it open, there you go, look at that. Da, da, da. And that's what you've got. And inside, this is your battery, and you can just use a small tool. And that will just, he will slide out. And there we go. And that is how you change your key fob battery. Tyler, can you focus on, on that battery and get the number? What is it? A CR3032. CR2032. There you go, one of them. And it's three volts. That's a three whole volts. Track. So we are going to show you now how, right, so you can see it's like a magic trick. I feel like Paul Daniels. I'm going to put that back together, right? No trick, no sleight of hand or trickery there, Tyler, right? That is now a dead, non-functioning key ring thing, right? So we are going to see if we can get in our car, if we can lock and unlock our car. So you need to come and it's on different doors on certain cars, but you can see it will have a little key lock thing there. Zoom in on that, Tyler key locky thing right and then you can get your your thing and there's a little slot underneath and if you just sort of wiggle it about in there it sort of ejects this off here oh like so hold on let me go and tell harry to be quiet for a minute there we got harry busy painting right and sanding because painting doesn't make that noise right uh, <laughs> right so there we go so that is that goes on there and it just clicks back on there we go, and I think you, you you click the top on and then the bottom will go on. Top first, bottom right. Right, okay, so we've got that. Where am I gonna put that down, Ty? Right, so, so now we've got our key, and sure enough, in here you can go this way, and you can, it that will lock it, and anti-clockwise will unlock it, and then we can get in the car. So we haven't used, well, the key fob is dead. Right, now if you jump in the other side, Tyler, we'll have a look at this little trick. Right, so if I try and start the car now, I'm in the car with the, but obviously this is dead. Right, it's gonna come up with this error here. And it says smart key not, and it shows you a little diagram of where you've got to position it. And it shows three ribs, but I'm looking at my steering wheel and I can't three, see three ribs. So what you have to do, if you've got an electric, look at that, you've got to bring the steering column towards you. And then you've got to position this next to there and it's got a tricky sensor and now with my foot on the brake there we go so it's on that is how to hey. <laughs> don't know if you can hear that we're just revving it right so there we go let's turn that off we've had enough fun there so that is if you drop your key in a pool of water or something and it stops working that's 
and that's why they designed it like this. It's kind of like a get out of jail free card for those of you that play Monopoly. Right, let's get back and look at how we can change that barrel. So when you buy a car, you will often get one or two or three keys with it. Now, what you can do with these keys is when you get, a, if you buy a second hand car, you can go to Land Rover and ask them for a modest fee to delete all the old keys. Because you can actually program like five keys. Um, so you don't know who's got a key for your car. So Land Rover can actually deactivate all the keys and then you can present them with two or three keys or they'll sell you some more and you can relearn just the keys that you want so you know. Now, the other thing is you do not know who has got the mechanical keys to get into your car. Um, there could be other people, so you can change the lock barrel. So the lock barrel is available from Land Rover here. We might put these on the website. Now, I will explain a bit more. Is this packet open yet, Tyler? No. no. Right, so this is a new one. So we've got to, we've got to make sure we don't get confused here, haven't we, Tyler? <laughs> right, so you will get, you will get one brand new shiny barrel. Look at that. Now, because these don't get used very often, they can seize up. And we actually found another problem, didn't we, Tyler? Yep. Yes. So our car is crash damaged. Those of you who have been watching our series on this Ranger of Sport. And it turned out that the key that was inside here didn't even match the lock. The doors have been changed. And as long as the key fob worked, they didn't bother changing. So if our battery had gone flat or we'd have been in a pickle, we'd have been absolutely pooped, wouldn't we, Tyler? So, so right. So there we go. So it's also worth checking that. So you get two keys and a barrel. So you will then know who has got the keys to your car. Right, so how does this barrel fit? So they're not that expensive. I think they're around 70 or 80 quid. Ah, barcodes. So when you change the key, Land Rover actually keep a record so that if people lose their keys or get stuck, you can actually contact Land Rover and they will have a record when they built the car, assuming nothing's been changed, of what key you need. And they can, for a fairly high fee, I think, <laughs> provide you with a spare key to get you in your car. Um, because they know this. But if you change your lock, Land Rover no longer know what key fits your car, which may be good, may be bad. So you get this little sticker, and this little sticker has a little barcode, which I guess you could scan or give to Land Rover, and they will be able to give you a duplicate key. So take a picture of it, put it somewhere, not in the car. That would be bad, wouldn't it, Tyler? Yes. There would be no logic in that. So there we go. Or we did say maybe ta tattoo it on your arm. And we looked at, we practiced this bit of the video, didn't we, Tyler? <laughs> so, so you could tattoo it on your arm if you're into tattoos. Right. Okay, so we have the lock. Now, we will go and have a look how it fits on the car. But this is the inside of your door handle. And this is the barrel. And what it's gonna do, I've worked this, right. Right, so you can then take the key barrel, I've worked it out, and it will then slot in there. Now, notice the line of sort of trajectory here. It comes into this at a weird old angle. But the clever thing is this screw in here, we'll show you where this is on the car. It, it's, cap it's captive, it, the screw cannot fall out because it's got this little cage it lives in. You can't, when it gets to the end there, it's not going to fall out. It's got a little cage, which is really good. And you'll see why later. Right then, so there we go. So the, the barrel's going to slip in like that, get it in. And then what we're going to do on the car is we're going to screw that there. And that is going to screw into the barrel. There we go, all the way. And then that is locked, that barrel, in there. So we are going to show you how to do that on the car. Zoom. So, you'll notice there is a little black little bung there. It used to be a bit orange. And you need to get that out. Now, they're quite tricky to get out, but not really. It's only a plastic bung. Um, this is a bit brutal. You might want to put a little bit of tape or something because you don't want to scratch your paint. There we go. You can just, there you go. Once you get enough stuff. So he's a little... What are we going to call that? A ribbed, ridged, ribbed bung? Something like that. Something like that, right then. Bang. Right. And then you're going to need a Torx T... Two zero. Two zero, bingo. 
<laughs> we need to do some bingo calling. Right. And then <laughs> so. if you look in here, well obviously you've seen what it is. So we're we're heading for up here somewhere. So you can get a torch on it, or you can have a little rummage around in there. Right, there we go. Right, and we just unscrew this. We're not worried about how much, are we, Tyler? No. There we go, we can hear it going, dit, 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 now. That's not gonna fall inside the door. We're safe. And then what we can do is we can extract. I have to pull the handle. Yeah. No. All right, we can extract this. Oh, oh I'm not. Right, so I've just got a little screwdriver. I can just, just tease him out here. Come on, getting a grip on it. There we go, so that's that extracted. Now, do be careful because when you're pulling this handle here, you can, if you're not, if you slide it this way, you, you can end up thinking, oh no, I've broken the handle. But don't worry, you just push it back and just give it a little tap back and it'll be fine. But don't go, right. So there we go, that is that. And then you just put the new one in, tighten the screw, clip the cover on. Make sure you swap the keys on both your key rings, the little key thing, and you are all done. You will have new keys and a new barrel that will not seize. So good luck with that.